Hi, I'm Charlie Sykes from The Bulwark. It is September 26, 2023, and I'm here to remind you once again that you are not the crazy one. So we are looking at uh, the news cycle. The President of the United States is going to join a picket line up in Michigan. That is a high-risk, high-reward effort on Joe Biden's part. But uh, today in my morning shots, I focused on two other things, including the contrast between a 26-year-old White House aide and all the uber male members of the Praetorian Guard for the endomorphic orange god king. I'm talking about Cassidy Hutchinson. As you know, one of the big things of MAGA is that they are masculine and they are courageous. I mean, these are people who want to irradiate their testicles to make themselves even more manly. And yet, which member of the White House staff turned out to have the most guts? It wasn't Mark Meadows. It wasn't any of the other guys in the White House. It was this woman, Cassidy Hutchinson. So we talk about her this morning. Meanwhile, uh, Democrats are wrestling with their own corruption problem. Uh, New Jersey Senator Robert Menendez, who has been indicted. Uh, look, I actually wrote in Morning Shots today that it's a little bit nostalgic reading the indictment because it's not complicated. There, there are no shell companies. There are no seven levels of separation or conspiracies. It's just old fashioned throwback bribes, you know, gold bars and you know, envelopes of cash stuffed into his clothing, clothing with his names on it, with a modern twist of the fact that there's DNA evidence linking all of this cash to the crooks that he was friends with. So how are Democrats going to deal with this? One presumes a lot better than Republicans are. As we know, Republicans have decided to rally around uh, the indicted former president. Uh, so far, we're not seeing that among Democrats. Democrats have apparently learned their lesson, at least somewhat, because as of this morning, only four Democratic senators have called for Menendez to resign. Joe Biden um, is taking a pass on this. Chuck Schumer is hiding in the cloakroom. I think this is going to change, but it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and the contrast between the way that Democrats and Republicans uh, handle the issue of corruption. Meanwhile, uh, in case you were wondering how things are going in MAGA world, they have picked a new target. For some reason, uh, many of the leaders of the new Trumpian right have decided that the villain that they want to attack today is Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift was apparently too woke. So we have the former founder of the Federalist website saying, yes, her, her music is terrible. And then there is the tweet from this guy saying that Taylor Swift is homely. I would just suggest that it's probably not in his interest to have their pictures side by side. So once again, as you go through your day, a reminder, you are not the crazy ones. I'm Charlie Sykes from The Bulwark. We'll do this again tomorrow.